In our previous module 5, we have learned about Putzer's method to calculate e to the power a t. We have also learned an alternate way of calculating e to the power a t in some special cases. In this module 6, we will learn about power series method and also we will learn about the variation of parameter method for non-homogeneous cases. In this module, we will learn about the power series method. We consider a homogeneous linear system of the form x dash t which is equal to dx dt which is equal to a t a x t with initial condition x 0 is equal to b given by equation 1 in which the given n cross n matrix a t has a power series expansion in t and convergent in some open interval containing the origin. For example, let a t may have the form a 0 plus t a 1 plus t square a 2 plus dot dot t to the power k a k plus 0 0 for norm t less than r 1, where the coefficients a 0 a 1 dot 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 are given n cross n matrices. We try to find a power series solution of the form x t is equal to b 0 plus t b 1 plus t square b 2 plus dot dot plus t to the power k b k plus dot dot with vector coefficients b 0 b 1 dot dot dot. Since x 0 is equal to b 0, we may take b 0 to be capital B. To find the remaining coefficients, we substitute the power series for x t in the differential equation and equate the coefficients of like powers of t to obtain the following system of equations. b 1 is equal to a 0 b, k plus 1 b k plus 1 is equal to summation r equal to 0 to k a r b k minus r for k equal to 1 2 dot 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 which is given by equation 2 which provides the unknown coefficients b i for i equal to 1 2 dot dot dot. If the resulting power series for x t converges in some interval norm t less than r 2 then x t will be a solution of the initial value problem 1 in the interval norm t less than r where r equal to minimum of r 1 comma r 2. For example, if a t is a constant matrix a then a 0 is equal to a and a k is equal to 0 for all k greater or equal to 1 and the system of equations in 2 gives the following b 1 is equal to a b k plus 1 b k plus 1 is equal to a b k for k greater or equal to 1. On solving these equations we get b k is equal to 1 by k factorial a to the power k b for k greater or equal to 1. Therefore, the series solution in this case becomes x t is equal to b plus k equal to 1 to infinity t to the power k by k factorial a to the power k b which is equal to e to the power a t into b which provides the same result for homogeneous linear system with constant coefficients. We have started this module with a brief discussion on the power series method. We will now look into the variation of parameter for the homo non homogeneous equations. We now look into the method of variation of parameters for non homogeneous equations. Let us consider the non homogeneous equation of the form 
dx dt or x dot is equal to a t x plus f t. Once we have solution for the homogeneous equation x dot equal to a t into x, we can use the variation of parameter method to find the solution of the initial value problem x dot or dx dt is equal to a t x plus f t with initial condition x t 0 equal to x 0 given by equation 4. Let x 1 t x 2 t dot dot x n t be n linearly independent solution of the homogeneous equation given by 3. Since the general solution of 3 is c 1 x 1 t c 2 x 2 t dot dot c n x n t, we may assume that a solution of 4 is given in the form x t is equal to u 1 x 1 t u 2 x 2 t dot dot u n x n t given by equation 5. This equation can be written in the matrix form x t is equal to capital X t into u t where capital X t is equal to x 1 t x 2 t dot dot x n t and u t is equal to u 1 t u 2 t dot dot u n t the n cross 1 column vector. Putting the value of x t into the differential equation x dot is equal to a t into x plus f t and integrating between t 0 and t we get small x t is equal to capital X t into x inverse t 0 into x 0 plus capital X t integration t 0 to t x inverse s f s d s given by equation number 6. Since for autonomous case a fundamental metric solution can be given as e to the power a t then equation number 6 can be written as x t is equal to e to the power a t minus t 0 into x 0 plus integration t 0 to t e to the power a t minus s f s d s given by equation number 7. We now look into an example where we solve the initial value problem d x d t which is x dot is equal to a x plus f t where a is the matrix 1 0 0 2 1 minus 2 3 2 1 and f t is given by 0 0 e to the power t cos 2 t with the initial condition x 0 is equal to 0 1 1. We first calculate the eigenvalue of the matrix A and by definition the eigenvalue is obtained from the characteristic equation that is determinant of a minus lambda i is equal to 0. And if you do that you will get 1 minus lambda 0 0 2 1 minus lambda minus 2 3 2 1 minus lambda and determinant of that is equal to 0 which is given here. Therefore, the characteristic equation of a is given by the expansion of the determinant and which we get as 1 minus lambda into 1 minus lambda square plus 4 is equal to 0. If you solve this equation the first value you get lambda equal to 1 from here and the second equation gives 1 minus lambda whole square plus 4 equal to 0. And if you take 4 to the right hand side this can be written as minus 4 and which can be written as 4 i square and hence 1 minus lambda whole square is equal to plus minus 2 i which gives lambda is equal to 1 plus minus 2 i and hence you get 
the eigenvalues to be lambda equal to 1 and lambda equal to 1 plus minus 2 i. Next, we need to find the eigenvectors corresponding to the eigenvalues lambda equal to 1 and lambda equal to 1 plus minus 2 i. For lambda equal to 1, we get the eigenvectors in the form x1, y1, z1, where this vector has to be a non-zero vector and it is obtained from the equation a minus lambda i into some v is equal to the null matrix, where lambda is the corresponding eigenvector. And if you substitute the value of lambda equal to 1 in that particular equation, you will get 1 minus 1, 0, 0, 2 into 1 minus 1, minus 2, 3, 2, 1 minus 1 into the eigenvector, which is the components of which are x1, y1, z1 is equal to the null matrix 0, 0, 0. Now, if you solve this, you will get from the first equation, it is 0 x1 plus 0 y1 plus 0 z1 equal to 0, then 2 x1 plus 0 y1 minus 2 z1 equal to 0 and 3 x1 into 2 y1 into 0 z1 is equal to 0. Now, we are not looking into the trivial solution, that is we are not looking when x1, y1, z1 will all be equal to 0. We are looking for some non-zero values of x1, y1, z1 such that the vector is a non-zero vector and then hence on solving by attributing some values of x1, y1, z1 which will satisfy these three equations, we can get x1 equal to 2 y1 equal to minus 3 and z1 equal to 2. Please note corresponding to lambda equal to 1, the values of x1, y1, z1 are not unique. So, for lambda equal to 1, which is the unique eigenvalue, you may get different eigenvectors and you can proceed with any one of them. And hence, our solution x1t is equal to e to the power t multiplied by 2 minus 3 2. Next, we find the eigenvectors corresponding to lambda equal to 1 plus 2 i. Proceeding in the similar fashion, we will get 1 minus 1 plus 2 i 0 0 2 1 minus 1 plus 2 i minus 2 3 2 1 minus 1 plus 2 i x 2 y 2 z 2 equal to the null matrix. Again solving in the similar manner, we will get x 2 equal to 0, y 2 equal to i, z 2 equal to 1. And once again, we point out that for lambda equal to 1 plus 2 i, the unique eigenvalue, the eigenvector is not unique. You can choose any values of x 2, y 2, z 2 satisfying the above equation. Hence, the solution in this case x 2 t is equal to e to the power 1 plus 2 i into t multiplied by 0 i 1. Now, e to the power 1 plus 2 i into t multiplied by 0 i 1 can be written in the form e to the power t into cos t plus i sin 2 t. This is just an expansion of e to the power i theta, which is cos theta plus i sin theta multiplied by 0 0 1 plus i times 0 1 0. And if you simplify, you will get it in the form e to the power t multiplied by cos 2 t into 0 0 1 minus sin 2 t into 0 1 0 plus i times sin 2 t 0 0 1 plus i times cos 2 t 0 1 0. Separating as a imaginary and the real part, we will get this is equal to e to the power t into 0 minus sin 2 t cos 2 t plus i times e to the power t 0 cos 2 t sin 2 t. And therefore, a second solution x 2 t can be written as e to the power t multiplied by 
0 cos 2 t sin 2 t and x 3 t is equal to e to the power t 0 sin 2 t minus cos 2 t. And hence, a fundamental metric solution of x dot equal to a x may be given as capital X t is equal to 2 e to the power t 0 0 minus 3 e to the power t e to the power t cos 2 t e to the power t sin 2 t 2 e to the power t e to the power t sin 2 t minus e to the power t cos 2 t. Here x 0 is equal to 2 0 0 minus 3 1 0 2 0 minus 1. Please note you can easily calculate this x 0 by putting t equal to 0 in this matrix and if you do that you will get this result. And also it can be easily seen that determinant of x 0 is the equal to minus 2 which is not equal to 0. And hence we can calculate the inverse of x 0 which is equal to x inverse 0 equal to half 0 0 3 by 2 1 0 and 1 0 minus 1. Therefore, e to the power a t is equal to x t into x 0 inverse and if you substitute these two matrices and multiply you will get e to the power t 1 0 0 minus 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2 cos 2 t plus sin 2 t cos 2 t minus sin 2 t 1 plus 3 by 2 sin 2 t minus cos 2 t sin 2 t cos 2 t. And consequently x t is written as e to the power a t 0 1 1 plus e to the power a t integration 0 to t e to the power minus s multiplied by the matrix 1 0 0 minus 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2 cos 2 s plus sin 2 s cos 2 s minus sin 2 s 1 plus 3 by 2 sin 2 s minus cos 2 s sin 2 s cos 2 s multiplied by the column matrix 0 0 e to the power t cos 2 s ds. And hence after simplification we get x t is equal to e to the power t multiplied by the matrix 0 cos 2 t minus 1 plus half sin 2 t 1 plus half cos 2 t plus 5 by 4 sin 2 t. In our next example we solve the initial value problem dx dt or x dot is equal to 1 0 0 2 x plus sin a t cos b t where the matrix a here is 1 0 0 2 and f t is equal to sin a t cos b t with the initial condition x 0 is equal to 0 1. Like before we have to calculate the eigenvalue of the matrix A which is given by the determinant A minus lambda i is equal to 0 where lambda is your eigenvalue and if you do that here you will get 1 minus lambda 0 0 2 minus lambda and this can be easily expanded and solved and we get the characteristic equation as 1 minus lambda 2 minus lambda equal to 0 giving lambda equal to 1 and lambda equal to 2. Next we calculate the eigenvectors corresponding to lambda equal to 1 and corresponding to lambda equal to 2. As explained before the eigenvector is obtained from the equation a minus lambda i into some vector is equal to the null matrix where we have to find the vector which is non-zero and in this case we have taken that to be x1, y1. For lambda equal to 1, a minus lambda i will give 1 minus 1, 0, 0, 2 minus 1 into x1, y1 equal to 0, 0. Now if you solve this 
you will get two equations which is 0 into x 1 plus 0 into y 1 equal to 0 and 0 into x 1 plus y 1 equal to 0. From the last equation we get y 1 is equal to 0, but we cannot conclude anything about x 1. So, we take any arbitrary value of x 1 which will satisfy this equation. Hence, our required eigenvector will be x 1 y 1 which is 1 0. Please note this y 1 will always be equal to 0 and x 1 you can choose any real number and it is going to satisfy the above equation. In the similar manner, the eigenvector for lambda equal to 2 we will get 1 minus 2 0 0 2 minus 2 x 2 y 2 equal to 0 0. So, here if it we expand this we will get minus x 2 plus y 2 equal to 0 and 0 x 2 plus 0 y 2 equal to 0. So, from the first equation minus x 2 equal to 0 implies x 2 is equal to 0 and hence x 2 will always be equal to 0 and we cannot conclude anything about y 2. So, we take any arbitrary value of y 2. In this case we have chosen y 2 equal to 1, you could have chosen any value. Therefore, a fundamental metric solution of x dot equal to a x may be given as x t is equal to e to the power t 0, 0 e to the power 2 t. And hence next we compute x 0 which is 1 0 0 1 and it is inverse which is x inverse 0 which remains the same 1 0 0 1. And therefore, e to the power a t is equal to e to the power t 0 0 e to the power 2 t. And consequently x t will be given by x t is equal to e to the power a t 0 1 plus e to the power a t integration 0 to t into the matrix e to the power minus s 0 0 e to the power minus 2 s sin a s cos b s d s, which is equal to e to the power a t multiplied by 0 1 matrix plus e to the power a t integration 0 to t the matrix e to the power minus s sin a s e to the power minus 2 s cos b s d s and which if we integrate we will get this is equal to e to the power a t 0 1 matrix plus e to the power a t into the matrix e to the power minus s divided by 1 plus a square into minus sin a s minus a cos a s and e to the power minus 2 s divided by 4 plus b square multiplied by minus 2 cos b s plus b sin b s from 0 to t. And please note when you integrate this we use the formula e to the power a s cos b s d s. And this can be simplified and written in the form 0 e to the power 2 t plus the matrix e to the power t 0 0 e to the power 2 t multiplied by the matrix e to the power minus t divided by 1 plus a square into minus sin a t minus a cos a t plus a divided by 1 plus a square. And e to the power minus 2 t divided by 4 plus b square into minus 2 cos b t plus b sin b t plus 2 divided by 4 plus b square. This is equal to 0 e to the power 2 t plus 1 by 1 plus a square into minus sin a t minus a cos a t plus a e to the power t by 1 plus a square and 1 by 4 plus b square into minus 2 cos b t plus b sin b t plus 2 e to the power 2 t by 4 plus b square, which can be further simplified and can be written as in the matrix form 1 by 
1 plus a square into a e to the power t minus sin a t plus a cos a t and 1 by 4 plus b square into 6 plus b square e to the power 2 t plus minus 2 cos b t plus b sin b t. Summing up, in this chapter which has 6 modules, we have started with some basic definitions which includes autonomous system, non-autonomous system, homogeneous and non-homogeneous equation and then we move into the fundamental metric solution. We have also learned how to calculate e to the power a t and finally, we ended our module with variation of parameter for non-homogeneous cases. I hope it is clear to you. Thank you.